I'm JD and what I want to do today is basically go through the basic symbols of logic and we're talking about symbolic logic here and I also want to show you their truth tables because they're very useful to understand what's going on with these symbols so you have P and Q <laughs> and basically with letters preferably not using X here but P and Q represent statements and the statement can be either true or false but it can't be both so those are the most basic and then you have not P and then not Q so if you have P and you have not P well if P is true then not P is false if P is false then not P is true so they're just basically same, the opposite of each other now another symbol that you might see is this symbol right here you have P or Q and this symbol right here means or so it's an either or statement one or the other so again I'm going to use a truth table so I have P's and Q's and then P or Q so you have uh, say P is true Q is true true false 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 true false you kind of when you want to do a truth table you want to list out all the scenarios so they're they both can be either true or both of them can be false or one can be true so listing out all the scenarios if I'm using if I'm looking at or P or Q well only one of them has to be true in order to be true overall so here P or Q is true uh, true or false that would be true remember only one of them has to be true in order for this statement to be true then you have false or true so that's true and then false or false that would be false then you have uh, another symbol it goes like that it's kind of facing up this is the ands symbol in order for and to be true both of them have to be true so I'm going to use the same truth table so you have P and Q so that would be true true or true and false well both of them have to be true in order for this to be true so that would be false false or true that would be false and then this would be false or false sorry false and false which would be false so you have that now also let's say that you have implication symbol P yields Q or P implies Q P implies Q in other words if P then Q now if P is false it doesn't matter what your Q is it's gonna make this true if P is true then it's necessary for Q to be true in order for this statement to be true so if I have P implies Q true true 
then that would be true. If I have P implies Q and P is true and Q is false, that means it's false. Now, if the if part P is false, then it doesn't matter what the outcome is, this statement would be true, true. Now, another symbol you might see is what's called by equivalence, P, if and only if Q. So it's like implication, but it must go both ways in order for it to be true. So if I look at P plot, sorry, P if and only if Q, if I go this direction, right, if P then Q, that would be true. And if I go the opposite direction, if Q then P, that would be true. Now if I look at this, if P then Q, right, true, if true, then false, it's going to be false. If I go the other direction, it's going to be true, but it has to be true going both directions. So this would be false. Same thing's going to happen here. Even though going this direction, if P, then Q would be true. If you go the opposite direction, if Q, when Q is true, and then P being false, that would be false. Now you look at this scenario, if and only if, if I go this direction, right, if false, then false, that gives me a true statement. If I go the opposite direction, if false, then false, then that would be true. So that's it.